Number 1. Dragon Lady Eva Tiamat Bay Foment Medusa. For one reason or another, many people turn to plastic surgery to either enhance their looks or fix a medical issue, but one preoperative transgender woman has taken her desire for change to the extreme. Unhappy with her appearance, Dragon Lady Eva Tiamat Bay Foment Medusa turned to a body modification artist so she could look more like a rattlesnake. Over the last 20 years, Tiamat's procedures have included having her ears cut off, her nose shaved, horns implanted, eyebrow dome implants, a forked tongue, fangs, and scales tattooed all over her body. The dramatic modifications to her body have cost her around US $60,000 so far and also include body piercings from top to toe and the whites of her eyes dyed green, resembling those of the reptile she dreams of one day becoming. Tiamat's belief that she was raised by western diamondback rattlesnakes after being abandoned as a young boy have fueled her desire for this disturbing transformation. Although born to a human mother in the Phoenix area, she says her choice to transform into a snake is in honor of her reptilian parents. Considered a body modification extremist, Tiamat no longer looks human. Through a series of bizarre and, no doubt, painful procedures, she has managed to escape the confines of the human body. Number 2. Mr. Broccoli. If you're going to dress up and identify as your favorite vegetable, don't do it in front of Good Morning Britain's Piers Morgan and millions of viewers. Branded an idiot by Piers and his co-host Susanna Reid, Mr. Broccoli was trying to make a very serious point about veganism but failed due to his comical appearance. At the time, Piers said, although Mr. Broccoli had the right message, his method of delivery is what irked him the most, asked if he practiced what he preached when it came to the environment, he replied no, I'm just a broccoli. He gave the same response when asked several additional questions pertaining to his knowledge of veganism, including the science behind meat-eating and the effectiveness of plant-based diets. The interview concluded when Mr. Broccoli took a banana out of his pocket, pretending to use it as a telephone. Pierce said enough was enough and the vegan activist was ordered off the set. Instead of getting his message across, he ended up making people think that all vegans are twats. Number 3. Jareth Nebula, The Alien. If you thought that extraterrestrials were just a myth, you might need to think again. A former transgender man, Jareth Nebula now identifies as one, a bit genderless. Looking for all the world like a teenage girl with a penchant for piercings and colored hair, Nebula was formerly a woman, but decided to transition to a man in their late 20s. After undergoing hormone replacement treatment and having their breasts removed, Nebula still didn't feel they were in the right body and decided on a more radical option, life as an alien. Not male or female, in fact, not even human, Nebula decided they were simply otherworldly. Stuck in a human body, they have revealed they suffer from a condition called Ed's, Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, a rare condition that affects connective tissues, giving Nebula both stretchy skin and extended mobility range. Their joints can easily be disconnected, and the condition can leave them in a lot of pain. Unable to understand what a genderless alien even means, Nebula's family still see them as a trans man. With a huge circuit board tattooed on their face, no nipples, 78 stars tattooed all over their body in a combination of neon, gothic, and pastel clothing, Nebula's desires are simple, they just want to be accepted. If you like our videos, please leave a like. Comment and share it your friends and families. Thank you.